everybody, my name's Jonna. Today we're going to be reviewing a board game called Hammer Time. This is for two to four players. It's recommended for ages five and up, and it plays in about 15 minutes. And this game was kindly gifted to us from the publishers Haba. This is a dexterity game themed around the idea of little gnomes mining for gems in a dragon's mountain. And you can only mine so many gems before you wake up the dragon and lose all your gems as you run away from the angry beast. The bottom of the box is actually the base of the game and all the gems go on top of the bottom of the box which is very nicely uh, protected and decorated with a nylon type of fabric-y sticker that covers the whole bottom of the box. So this is what you're putting the gems on. And then you take the hammer and you have to gently tap away at the box until a gem or more fall off. If you knock over more than eight, you have angered the dragon and you have to run for your life with no gems at all. Each gnome has his own set of wagons that he's trying to fill up and they have to have a specific color. So the children are gonna be matching gem colors to fill up their wagons. Now if a clear crystal falls, that's a wild and can go anywhere. If a black gem falls, that's a dud although it does count towards a task card. There's a couple different ways you can play this game. You can play it where you're just trying to fill up your wagon and the first person to fill up all four wagons with the, with the right colors will be the winner. You can also add the task cards in and the task cards give you a specific goal for that turn, whether it be knocking less than four off the, the box or more than five an even number or an odd number or two black gems. If you're able to achieve one of these goals, you get the goal card and you flip it over and you will see that it's actually a wild crystal on the back. That wild crystal can be used to complete a wagon if there's only one spot remaining to be filled. If you want a little bit more variety and interest added to the game, you can you can include the dice it has six different colors on it. And depending on the color you roll, you will have to hit the box in a silly or difficult way. One might be doing it with your eyes closed. Once a player is able to fill up all four wagons, this will trigger the end of the game. The round will continue until the last player is gone. If there's more than one player who's finished their wagons, the win will be determined by how many task cards have been accomplished. That's the basic idea behind Hammer Time. I'm gonna send you over to my kids to hear their thoughts on this game, and then I'll come back with my final review. Hi, Lawrence. Hi. Hi, Theodore. Hi. What's the hardest thing that happens when you roll the dice for you? Um, using it like this. Using it like that? Yeah. yeah. What do you think, Theodore? What do you think is the hardest challenge? I think the hardest challenge is trying to do a sweep and all. Trying to do it sleeping. Is there anything about this game that you think has a problem? There's one problem. Have a sickle on, and I don't know if they're broken or not. And so I'll... you think that the sticker might come off the box? Yeah. Hmm. Maybe because someone keeps peeling it off, Lawrence? Oh, man! <laughs> yeah, it does seem like maybe it might not last quite as long as And that's so it's kind of out of practice. There's a lot of plastic in it. I'm surprised you noticed that. Lawrence, do you have any problems with the game? Um, so, there's so many black gems. There's too many black gems. Yeah. yeah they, can't, they make it hard. What um, do you like the most? I like all the stuff. You like everything all together? I like the gems, and also I have the dice. I have everything. Like five stars being really good, or one star being not so good. How many stars would you give it? I would give it 10. Um, one. What? I give it 101. Wow. Oh. All right, Lawrence and Theodore, thank you so much. Goodbye. So this game is a math assignment disguised as a dexterity game. Children are going to be challenged to count all of their gems to figure out whether they have less than a certain number or more than a certain number, whether they have odd numbers or even numbers, and it's all disguised with a very thematic 
treasure hunting theme. For me personally, I found that this game drug on a little too long. It says on the box that it plays in 15 minutes, but honestly, it played at least double than that and it felt even longer. Maybe we're just really bad at this type of dexterity, but it seemed that either we were hitting it way too softly or way too hard. If you're not able to succeed in the dis dexterity challenge, it will be a very, very long game. And that's really what I don't like about it. However, that's how I felt about it. It seems like my kids really enjoyed it, especially when we started adding in the dice later on after we had learned how the game played. Once we added the dice, it really added a very fun element. For eco-friendliness, I'm going to rate this game three Earth stars out of six. It didn't come with a plastic box insert and all the components came in a brown paper bag instead of plastic, this, which is something Haba has switched over to doing when packaging their board games and I want to applaud them. I love seeing the brown paper bags so the wooden pieces are ethically resourced in Germany. On their website, Haba describes how they try to use local wood so that there's less transportation and often leftover pieces of wood from their furniture making is used for their game components. So I really love that idea. So some negative things is that it was still shrink wrapped. It came with a ton of those plastic gems and also came with a big nylon sticker to stick on the back of the box. And I know stickers and those glues that they use can be harmful for the environment. And also that nylon sticker is probably not going to decompose anytime soon. Fortunately, my kids love playing this game and it's an educational thematic game. So we'll try to keep it out of the landfill as long as we possibly can. Overall, I give Hammer Time three pips out of six and that's because I found it kind of long and repetitive. However, my kids really liked it and it does present really nice mathematical problems for them, for their age group. So I really appreciated that. And I would recommend it for a homeschooling family who wants to present math problems to kindergarten and first graders in a creative way. This is a go-to and I would recommend it for that purpose. It's just a little boring for adults. Thanks so much for watching this review of Hammer Time. I hope that you enjoyed it and learned something and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Dwarves, but for some reason they call them gnomes. For you. Um. This is a two to four player game. Is it two to four player? Yes, it is. This come in the seat. This come in the seat. This is for four. <laughs> okay. Thank you for your thought. Try to. Nope. And although it says that they're gnomes, they're really dwarves. Hello, Lord of the Rings.